Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. It is your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly, email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details. Today, we are discussing a 2022 model year version of a model originally launched in 2017. This is the Parmigiani Toric Hemispheres Retrograde Date. Now, this watch originally launched in precious metal in 2017, and in late 2021 for the 2022 model year, it became available in stainless steel, which is what we have right here. So it's 42.8 millimeters in diameter, it is 12 millimeters thick from lug tip to lug tip, 48.4 millimeters with a 22 millimeter spacing between the lugs. Now you zoom out, we'll throw it on my wrist, which is 16 centimeters in circumference, and it wears nicely. Being just over 48 millimeters from lug to lug with a nicely curved set of lugs, it wears surprisingly well for a watch that's almost 43 millimeters in diameter. Also, you can see that it has a stepped case flank and a fairly thin overall 12 millimeter profile, so it is a dress watch that will fit underneath a dress cuff. And I could actually recommend this watch for a wrist as small as 15 centimeters in circumference. It wears quite nicely on my wrist. The strap is of high grade, of course. Hermes is a stakeholder in the Parmigiani family of companies, and this being a Parmigiani Fleurier factory strap, it is Hermes leather. It is wonderfully soft and smooth. You can see it's matte black with a medium rectangular scale alligator leather, a monotone stitch. We've got a sheer cut side showing the layers of leather, and then that buttery calfskin on the bottom. You can see this is a Hermes strap in outstanding condition and it's paired with a Parmigiani folding clasp. You can see this is a single folding clasp with a twin trigger release, so it can't pop open involuntarily. It's quite secure in that regard. And there's design parallelism going on here as we have these lovely teardrop profiles on the buckle, but then we also have those exact same teardrop profiles on the Toric case. The Toric case design was Michel Parmigiani's first, coined back in 1996 at the very inception of his namesake brand, or I should say eponymous brand. He is the namesake of the brand. Taking a quick look here, you can see that it features a remarkable break between the lug profiles and the case. Now this requires artisanal craftsmanship to achieve and a lot of hand finishing, so that's deeply impressive, especially since the lugs uh, sort of surmount the case band running right up to the flange of the bezel, which you could see is like a compressed Greek column. That's the idea. This highly coined and double flanged bezel is designed to look like a compressed Greek column. That's sort of the impre that's sort of the inspiration behind the Toric name. Now there's two crowns because we have a true dual time watch. The secondary time zone, hemispheres is the name of the watch. The secondary time zone can be set to the minute. So this is not a dual time watch that has one minute minute hand and two different hour displays. Here, whatever idiosyncratic time zone you're dealing with, this second time zone can support it. Now, taking a quick look next to it, there's an AM PM indicator for the reference time, but there's also an AM PM indicator that's coaxial with the center time. Now, this is a retrograde and it features a retrograde date. So you can see it has that retrograde date mechanism that is combined with a quick set, which is wonderful fun to play with. I'm kind of loathe to admit this kind of thing still amuses me nine years into this job, but I love the retrograding action. It is a wonderful piece of horological theater. Another function you've got here is that the watch also has stop seconds. The dial is all matte black for an anti-reflective quality. The indices outboard for the hours are polished rose gold. We have rose gold hands and a lovely rose gold chapter ring for the second time zone. These hands are described as javelin style and they are a Parmigiani exclusive. Let's do a quick loom shot here just so you can get your bearings. The watch does have luminescence in the dark though it's more of an approximation as there are not individual indices visible. Turning it all over you can see the hemispheres retrograde features a lovely Vague or wave pattern on the rotor. The rotor actually has three different finishes. You can see there's satination along the border, there's mirror beveling on the edge, and then there's this lovely cut, that, that guilloche, the vague pattern. We also have lovely stripes, which are true abrasive wheel stripes. You can see because one side is silver and one side is dark. When you see that color gradient, that's a good sign you're looking at the old-fashioned abrasive wheel stripes, not the stamped kind, which have one shade all the way across. There's engine turning on the base plate. There's satination on the edges of the bridges. You can see all screw heads have been black black polished. We have satination on the wheels of the mechanism, and if you look carefully, you can see that 
The beveling on the edge of the rotor as well as the edge of the bridges is done to a high degree and mirrored. Likely started mechanically, mechanically, you can see that it's been finished probably with a buffing tool to give it a manually finished mirrored shine, which is impressive. A lot of companies like Audemars Piguet, Jager, Lecoultre will not finish with a mirrored shine. They'll just go with a milling tool. They'll leave the bite marks on the bridge and they'll sell the watch as is. So that finishing with the mirrored shine is always something I look for. And the watch is 30 meters water resistant, so maybe a little bit sporty, but not a sports watch. The movement is a Vauche base. Vauche is the movement arm of Parmigiani, and you can see the Vauche star on the base plate right there. The balance beats away at 4 hertz, or 8 beats per second, and you can see it's free sprung for durability and precision of adjustment, and it is adjusted precisely in five positions. That is the high horology and chronometer standard. All this pivots on 28 joules. There are two barrels. There's a 50-hour automatic winding power reserve, and the reason you have two barrels here is not for an extraordinarily long power reserve. It's for a more even torque release throughout the power reserve, so the watch doesn't gallop when fully wound, nor does it slow down unduly after 18 or 24 hours like a single barrel movement often can, and all of that with a true dual-time capability and a unique case from a watch brand that through its collection of constituent companies makes every part of the watch, well, every part except the strap, that's Hermes. Reach out to Team Also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.